Hi guys, thank you so much for stopping by. So today I'm going to do a well overdue two year review and update in regards to my Louis Vuitton terrain in the PM size. So this is what she looks like. And she does kind of look like she's patinaed. Oh, that is actually kind of what it looks like. I think it's maybe a slightly, slightly shade deeper in the camera no i think it looks exactly like how it's looking in person um so i will show you more close-ups if i can um there hasn't been any issues and if you guys do remember that um in my other video and if you haven't seen my other video in regards to that um the strap, this cracked last year, and um, that was right before it hit the one year mark, like really, really close to it. So um, they, they, this is probably this is just a year old. So this is fine um, because there was just a little bit of cracking on the strap, like this, this uh, the long strap. So this one's a year old. Everything else is two years old. This is two years old. Like nothing else aside from the detachable strap was replaced. Replaced complimentary or for free because it was within the one year range. Um, the pull tab is Vaquetta leather. It's very skinny and I think it is cute though. However, I, it does make me think that um, I mean, it's well made, all that, but it is really, really skinny. And I kind of, and I think that is what their objective for this, for this design, because if you can see the long strap is super skinny, the, this is super skinny, the, um, the handle strap is also pretty skinny. That was, I think, their design to that. Um, so it does fit with the design. However, it would have been better for functionality, I guess, if it was thicker. But there hasn't been any issues with this with me at all, even though it's super skinny. And I know some people might be a little worried about that, but there ha I haven't really had any issues. I like the fact that it will sit down like this really well. Like just, did you see that? Like it's just flush. I like that. I also like that it is super cute. The design is super unique. Um, I like or um, I love the fact that when you open it, even though it is the PM size, and this does um, fit less items and it has a less capacity versus the Speedy um, 30 size. I do have a Speedy 30 and it's right over there and this is the Bandier. I used to own a Speedy 30 years and years ago before the Bandier um, existed. And um, I kind of liked it, but I didn't really love it. And um, until the Bandier came out, I really didn't have the urge or the want to ever own a Speedy again because it's a black hole. And um, I used to be just a, a top handle girl. However, just it can get really heavy and it was just like hurting my arm over here and I didn't like that part. Um, this is gonna be really tight to make it, like for me, see, this is really tight to make it into shoulder, a shoulder bag. Sometimes I will do it like this, but it is small enough and lightweight that you can. However, I do use the crossbody strap and make it into a shoulder bag strap sometimes. And then when it gets a little too heavy, I will make it into crossbody and it's super cute for the summer and spring. Um, I also love the fact that because the design of the bag is not like a speedy, um, so because the design is tapered, if you can see that, it gets a little bit um, poofy in the, or close to the middle and the bottom is wider versus the top. Um, because it tapers when you open it, and I do have some stuff in there. Oh, I don't. It's empty. I don't need anything. 
So when you open it, you can see pretty much 90% to 95% of your of whatever is in there. With the speedy, what would be, um, you might see what, 40 to 50% because of the design of the bag. That's the, that's the um, issue I have with the speedy 30. But I still love my speedy though, you know, I mean, it took me a while to really get back on the speedy wagon and I went with the speedy bandier because I just had a lot of bad um, experience with the um, the regular or classic speedy as some people call it. But anyway, um, this is a review for the Turin PM because I love this bag so much that I really was contemplating on getting the MM and the GM size after further research um, and due to the thin straps and me just um, using it so much I realize when this is heavy this will dig on my shoulder here or my shoulder here especially when I put my iPad mini 2 in there it gets really heavy and it can really dig in so I didn't like that part and then I thought if I got the MM and I obviously I'll probably stuff it more and the GM because I actually thought I wanted to get all three sizes I thought, well, if I'm already kind of uncomfortable and in pain from time to time by using only the PM and it gets too heavy, I don't think I will actually appreciate very much the MM and the GM size. So that's why I only stuck with the PM because um, I really was, I really was like itching to get the MM and the GM and I'm and after you know after my extensive research and just experiencing the bag more and more I think I just got the perfect size this is my cutie um, crossbody for summer spring kind of bag and I love it um, if I wanted something smaller and have a different design and different look versus the speedy I will definitely use this one so this is two years old for me a little over two years and it is beautiful it kind of seems like i've only owned this for a few months less than a year because of how beautiful it still looks and that is what you do get by purchasing a louis vuitton luxury item um your item is definitely going to look going to look very classic very timeless because of that so if you guys have any questions that I didn't answer in regards to that, uh, feel free to down below so I can answer maybe in a future video. Um, if you guys are interested in this bag, I will link down where you can purchase this bag if it is still available because I, I don't really, I haven't really honestly checked their website. Um, so I will do that. Uh, this bag is, I'm not trying to sell my bag. This is definitely a keeper for me. I love this bag. All right, so thank you guys so much, and I'll see you again next time. Bye. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please uh, hit the like button, subscribe button, and the bell so you'll be notified whenever I do upload a new video. Don't forget to expand the description box because as much as possible, I always try to get coupons for you guys, discount codes, and other goodies uh, like that. Um, I also have my Twitter information, Instagram, Snapchat, and for business inquiries, I have my email there as well. Thank you guys, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.